Hello and welcome to another Building Middle Earth terrain making video. Um, in the past few months I've made a lot of buildings uh, of various types, going back to Arnor, the Rivendell Hall back last year, uh, and ruins as well such as Dol Gordor in back in October. Just recently we've done a whole more time battle companies board with lots of buildings so I wanted to do something that wasn't a building. Um, something a bit more natural and I want to run uh, an Adventures in Middle Earth game using the pre-made adventure Eves of Mirkwood and in one of the encounters in that it involves a tree stump so I thought I'd have a go at making that um, it can be used in other games as well just in normal war games and tabletop games um, so I thought we'd have a go at that it's, um, it's a fairly simple project it's not going to be that difficult it's going to be great just to you can make it really quick and easy so yeah I thought let's uh, have a go at making that for the tree stump we're going to use a paper card tube, this is kitchen roll, toilet roll, I'm just going to use this, the first thing I'm going to do is just sort of scrunch it down a bit and tear it at the ends here like so, so then these will be tree stumps so that Play the ends out a bit. Don't have to be that neat with this. So, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some masking tape just to hold it in place because we are going to be covering this in plaster later on. Just to get its rough shape done. So. And then on these bits here, you kind of want to fold them up into a sort of almost tube and just with masking tape hold them in place and do that. This one, this one, and the same with here. And then what, so what I'll do is I'm going to carry on doing that, come back when it's a bit, bit better. A bit further, and what I'm going to do is this flap here that we have left here, just going to push it up like that and hold it in place with tape. And again, because we're going to be covering it in a plaster, probably mod rock, I don't have to worry too much, but just like that. And it's going to go here like this. And what you're going to want to do is just keep on adding masking tape over until you're covering up this little indent here although not all the way you could leave a bit in there just add a bit of texture and detail to it like so and then similarly you're just going to want to sort of come in with a bit of tape at the end here like that squish it in over like that and that is the basic substructure done so that's going to be the roots of the tree here like so a bit of tape in there just to make sure okay, so that'll be the roots of the tree you won't need to worry about this because that's going to be on the ground that is going to be basically it your basic structure so if it was a tree, you'd have it like that. And now we're going to make add the plaster in, do some detail in, and so forth. I might from here. I just wanted some of these roots to be a bit longer. Just do it with some masking tape now, just to yeah, just to get them a bit bit longer. Okay. Well, I forgot to. Uh, press record on the video so that's good we've now made the basic structure and we're going to use this which is plaster on a roll it's the sort of stuff that when you if you broke your arm they would uh, cover it in this and you cut it into strips and I've already made a start because I was recording and I wasn't but you're just going to cover it in there and just rub it with your finger 
just to get rid of all the you see some when you use it you see it's got like little holes in it on the uh, plaster bit you just want to try and get rid of that and you're just going to cover it and what I want to do is work with it while it's still wet and try and score a, uh, a bark panning which uh, at the moment if it dries I'm going to have to go over it again with like normal plaster just to get, get some texture in there or some I don't know really part or something hoping just do it with this it'll make life a lot easier we'll see so I'm gonna carry on going like this you're gonna want to get about two or three coatings in it stuff's called uh, I can't remember because I did this the second time I'm recording this I can't remember if I've mentioned this uh, this stuff's called mod rock and model railway users uh, use this to make their substructures with on their boards I used to use it back in the 80s when I used to make more uh, model railway boards what you're going to want to do at the end here is try and give a little lip because we want this to be where the wood sort of snapped so we're going to try and get that effect on it so make it a bit wispier at the end here that makes a sort of sense probably doesn't because I barely speak English um, yeah, so anyway what I'm trying to do yeah just give it a little lip so I'll probably try and get it to make it look like it's snapped at the end here <laughs> see that so it looks like yeah I'm gonna keep saying it look make it look like it's got snapped that's what I'm trying to get across and what we want to do what we really really want to do is get some now we've got to this stage I want to put more layers on but wrinkle it up see here so it's getting a bit of a a bark texture but yeah we want to go rough but nothing too detailed um detailed that's what we're going for to prominent really hard I don't know if anyone's ever done this make videos really hard to speak and concentrate on what you're doing at the same time I possibly should do these videos that other greeter terrain makers and me do where they actually build it and then just do a voiceover afterwards I don't think I'd have the time to do both it takes a lot of time to do these videos and I don't think I have a time to have the time to actually do this then go back and sort of re-watch it and re do a voiceover over top over to do ADR on it. I don't think I'll have I'm never gonna have the time I'm gonna have a full time job. A wife cats, they take up most of my time. Because I just want feeding all the time, but yeah, I'm hoping you're getting the idea here. You can sort of see it's beginning to get a bit of a texture shape here. Oh, you've got the end ridge there. Then. Um, I would stop the video at the moment because my hands are now covered in plaster. I can't touch the mouse. I don't really want to touch the mouse. So, oh, it'll just be a long section. This is the section you're probably going to want. This hardest section because. Once this is done, we're going to be uh, letting it dry and then painting it. So, yeah, what I want to do is just get this on here. So, yeah, it's looking, I'm getting quite pleased with the way this is looking at the moment. It's looking like what, what it's meant to be. It's always a good sign in terrain, isn't it? A bit. Yeah, so I've got enough coats. And I might just do forget about the underneath because that's just cardboard tubing and masking tape. So we're gonna make sure we got that covered. I'll just carry on till I've used all these. I mean you've been watching me now for four minutes, so what I'll do is I will try and rinse some water off, stop the video and come back when I'm happy. Got it sort of covered, bit of bit of texture in there, but if you want a bit more, just get some sort of sculpting tool while it's still wet and just try and add a bit of a uh, bit of bark texture into it, just run it down. I don't think this is would it even show up, but because it is effectively just plaster, you don't need too much because you want to ruin take off all the plaster. Hopefully enough just to that impression that it is 
tree bark that we're dealing with. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Yep, and what I'm going to do now is just leave that to dry. That's all I want to do. To be that over textured, really. Uh, I might just try and here, try and get more of a ring at the end, a ring sort of pattern going in here. Try and rough up the edges here a bit. Obviously, this would have been snapped. Maybe a snapped tree bark. So, yep, that's it. That is what I'm going for. Yep. And I'll leave that to dry. That's going to be it for that. Leave, put that to one side, let it dry, and we can paint it. That's a quick and simple project, this. So here's the the tree all dry now. Uh, what I'm going to do now is undercoat it in black. And once I've undercoat it in black, I'm going to go over it in, in a brown, like so. And what I've done is I haven't painted the end bit, that'll be painted sort of a I don't know, a carrot stony kind of colour in there for the tree rings bit. So I allow this to dry properly because it's still not dry yet. And as you can see, getting bits of brown on my finger. Put this to one side, let it brown, and then we're going to dry brush it various other browns and even add some greens and some, I don't know, maybe some greys just to get something with. And what I might do is just stick bits of lichen, lichen, however you want to pass around the edge. So I don't want to base it or anything, so just act as overgrown bushes and shrubbery. So yeah, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll do that later on. The tree stump is now uh, base coated in a dark brown and I have to say at the moment it looks like a Christmas Yule log type <laughs> colour and texture which is quite tasty, I kind of want to eat it but next stage I don't normally do this but I'm going to go over it with a light brown and then sort of a carrot stone shade to get it grey and then I might add some green in and then I will come back and we'll do the rings so that's it now, it's just getting painted the bark texture, so I'll probably do that and then show you the colours I used rather than watching me do it, which will be boring. And this is pretty much it finished. Um, well, what I'd normally do here is do a showcase, but I won't, so I'll just run through the paints. Uh, it was based in this sort of dark brown Rhinox Heidi one, Morfang brown type dry brush over the top of that, this is uh, something called Nutmeg, Nutmeg Spice and sort of a carrot stone type paint, it looks weird on the bottom, it looks pinkish but not a lot left, hopefully you can sort of see that, it's like this really beigey brown dry brush over, very light dry brush of um, this sort of coastline, sort of an ivory wasabi bone or whatever it's called, and then what I did is Old colour called camo green, which I think is now Elysian, whatever it is, green, uh, that kind of green. Uh, just it's wanting to look mouldy, like a lot of moss growing on it, so I just dry brushed it in that, and it gives it this lovely sort of brownie grey green bark effect. As I said, normally I'd do a showcase, but I think this is such a small piece would be lost in the showcase. I think you're going to get a better view just from just from me look holding it up here. And you having a look at it. So here we go. It's quite, quite a nifty, quick project to make this. But as uh, so I said, it can be used in eventually the Middle Earth. But you can use it for any sort of war game where you need fallen trees, I guess, and logs and so forth. Yep, happy with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe and stick with the channel for many great videos to come.